Hello everyone and welcome back to our survival series. In the last episode we were placing our objects including a workbench and a fire pit. Now these objects at the moment are not consuming any resources. We need to change that. So in this episode we're going to make it so we can spend the resources that these items actually cost. This involves going back and editing the inventory system a little bit to allow us to do this but let's jump in anyway. Hello, and so last time we got our building pieces placed around the scene, but they weren't taken away from my inventory just yet. So let's go through that process of how that would work. So when we go to our building piece base, here's the logic for when we place the object. So if it's a valid placement, we're good to go, and we're going to make this place here. Now, if that's the case, we need to report back and tell our player character to lose some of their inventory. Now, inventory is going to be based upon the recipe. So, how do we do this? First of all, our object needs to know what is the recipe that it's following. So what might be good, a good idea is having a variable in there called data and set the type for that to be uh, build and it'll be a DA building piece, the data asset. And I'm going to drag that out and from there get the recipe. Okay. Now I've got the recipe, I can now use this to take away from a player's inventory component. So first of all, we have to get the component itself. So let's get the player character. And from there, get component by class. And we'll choose the inventory component. And then from that, we can use the remove from inventory. So it needs to know the index they need to remove from if we by using this inventory system that we made. So currently the inventory system has removed from inventory, but it's requiring an index. Now we don't have the index, we just have a recipe. We don't know what index they currently are. So we know our thing has the recipe because we've got a logic already in our inventory system, which has the query recipe, which goes through all the keys and returns true or false whether or not it finds it. What I also want this to do is I'm going to find the index for each item. So I want to pass through an item name and find out what index it actually is inside of there. So let's go ahead and do that on our functions on our inventory system. So we can do get item index. And this is going to require the item. So I'm going to go name and item. And we want to take our content out and do a for each loop. And for each one of these, we'll break it open. And we'll check if this item here matches this item over here. So item ID equals item. And if that's the case, then we know the index is going to be this one. So we're going to do return node, return the array index. Now this whole thing is a getter, so we're going to make this a pure function. And then go back to my building paste piece. And after the get component by class, we're going to drag out from there and going to get item index. Okay, so now we get the index from the item we want to use. And the index we're going to drag in there. And I want to, from my recipe, get the keys and loop through each key. So I'm going to go through there. And we're going to do for each one of these. We want to remove a single item. This only removes one item. If we're going to remove from inventory, um, we are only uh, taking away a single item from it. So if I just go, yeah, here. So it's just taking away one. So I need to do this on a loop as well, based upon how many I want to remove. So this will be another loop inside of this for each loop. So we go to loop body, and we do a for loop. And put that in. Just move this out of the way. Um, get the recipe out here. And the for loop is going to take the find the key. So it finds out what quantity we need. 
that's the quantity here and i want this to loop around but it's a base of zero so we do have to take one away from this so do subtract one and put that into last index so it's going to loop through each key and then it's going to loop through each item in quantity and it's going to move one at a time so it's going to loop body now to go down to move for inventory and the index we're going to move is be the item index here which would be the current item go through this array so i'm just going to promote that to a variable current uh, actually before promote to a variable let's convert this to a function and we'll just right click and collapse the function or spend resources uh, the reason why i want to do it to function is it's just a little bit easier to manage um the the variables because I can go element here and do a local variable instead of a, a, a active wide variable. So do local underscore current item. Plug that in. Plug that into the for loop. And then down here on that get item index, we can drag out that local item and it'll find the index. Now when we are removing it from inventory, we want to consume it. We don't want to drop it on the floor. So we're going to just consume okay compile save okay so once we've done that we do have to go back through each of our billion pieces and add the data variable so we've got a data asset we need to add that to each one so let's go to our building system building pieces and go to fire pit and set the fire pit as a data asset there and same with workbench workbench because it needs to know what it's going to take away in his notes recipe so let's go ahead and test this out so one two three four five okay and that gives me four of wood I go to my build build my workbench and then i've got one wood left which means i shouldn't be able to build the fire pit yeah the fire pit's not showing up here So there you go we can now spend our resources to build items and objects in our scene and as you can see you can probably easily add more items to your build menus uh, to make them more more complex so we're going to go through and show you more to do with building and collecting materials in the next episode looking at more interactive elements such as the fire pit and also how those objects can actually give us stuff so like fire pit giving us warmth uh, we can cook food on it things like that so you can watch that next episode right now over on patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley. You can watch all my videos early from just $1 a month. Thank you so much for all the patrons and YouTube members for their continued support in the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye everyone.